Two minutes to go in the game, tied at 80. Western Kentucky for the seventh time this year in 14 games gets to 80 plus, but the Wildcats giving them all they can handle on the road. That one from Dibba didn't go down. McHenry scores. What a finish, great body control. He attacks the rim and we mentioned a minute ago how quiet he's been in the second half and I'm guessing this last minute and a half you're gonna hear more from Don McHenry. 90 seconds left. Madden, a fade away from the baseline, got it. What a tough shot. And Hunter Jack Madden has 21, tied at 82. Well, it was his quick start that got Abilene Christian going early in this game. And was quiet for a little bit toward the end of the first half. Several huge buckets here in the second. He got the ball back to get a fresh dribble and tried to just speed around Colin Bay, got just enough separation. Yeah, got that right shoulder into the defender, a little bounce back and uh, on balance, able to knock it down. Feels like both teams have a lot of confident players right now when the ball is in their hands. What do you think the Hilltoppers do here on offense? Uh, McHenry's got to be involved, whether off the high ball screen or the dribble handoff. I think you're going to see some kind of action where Faye uh, has the ball at the top of the key, their dribble handoff trying to get McHenry going downhill into the paint. But keep your eye on Christian Lander. He's been very, very good today. I think in this situation, if you can get McHenry driving the ball to the basket towards Lander's side, it puts the defense in a really tough spot because do you help off a of lander and try to keep McHenry out of the paint or do you stay glued to the shooter in the corner and make McHenry finish? So we'll see what the design is here from Steve Lutz. Two head coaches who are very close friends. Steve Lutz and Brett Tanner, known each other for a couple of decades. Former JUCO assistants in Kansas going up against each other here today. What a game, one minute left. Tied at 82. Interesting. Here you got Christian Lander with the ball and McHenry off the ball. Lander trying to work on Madden. The shot clock's at two. He missed the shot. Marshall puts it in. Well, obviously they like that matchup with Lander against Madden. Unable to finish, but there's Marshall again with a huge impact putback. 20 points in the game for Tyrone Marshall. 18 of them in the second half. And now a timeout taken by Abilene Christian. Weak side rebound. Almost used uh, McHenry as a decoy a little bit. Got the angle that they wanted for Lander to get to the basket. Um, and just, yeah, sometimes that's the hardest ball to rebound is the one that doesn't ever hit the rim. For that weak side, it was just, you know, Marshall right there where he needed to be. And he's, he's been that guy throughout his whole career. Just has a nose for the ball, a very, very good offensive rebounder, and uh, one of the biggest baskets of the day right there. All right, so 45.2 left. Abilene Christian ball. If you're Brett Tanner in the Wildcats, where are you going here to kind of calm these waters? Uh, going inside to Betty Hall. I'm trying to get him a, a post feed. He's been working hard for position down there. He wants the ball right here against Rodney Howard. And uh, we'll see if they're able to to make that happen here. Also, obviously, you can't lose Hunter Jack Madden. He's had the hot hand, huge bucket on a, a possession to go off the dribble. About a 19 second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Howard came out to stop Madden, so they go baseline. Dibba and around and out, and Dibba's got free throws coming. And a lot of Wildcats smiling after that almost went in. They know that was close. That uh, was a great job by Deva getting to the basket and, and just to get this shot up on the glass with the hang time there and getting his left shoulder into the defense to protect the ball from the block shot and almost got the and one opportunity, but two huge free throws here by Deva. Ali Deva, native of Sweden, 76% free throw shooter. He now has 24 points in the game. He is three of three at the stripe today. He's got one more. Emmanuel Allen comes in for the Wildcats. Cameron Steele, a shooter, checks out. So they swap out offense for defense. 
Dibba trying to tie the game at 84. And he does. Five second difference now. Game clock to shot clock. And Christian Lander looks, looks like he's going to have to handle the ball here down the stretch because they are, uh, Abilene Christian is just face guarding Don McHenry. Doesn't want him to even catch. His man's not even thinking help side responsibility at all. Just keep the ball out of McHenry's hands. Steve Lutz had two timeouts left. He's going to use one of them. Abilene Christian has one timeout remaining with 28.4. The shot clock is at 24. So again, nearly a five second differential. Yes, ha having said that, if Lander is the one with the ball in his hands, looking to attack, you got to force him right. He's really, really good going to his left, even though he didn't finish that last one. He's been able to get to his spots all night long going to his left. So you really, really got to force him to his right hand and watch that spin back move that he's so good at when he gets in the paint. And as always, keep Marshall off the glass. I mean, that's what happened last time. It's not the, sometimes it's not the first shot that beats you, it's the putback. And so whoever is guarding Marshall, it, if you can't get the rebound, just make sure he doesn't get it. Tied at 84, final non-conference game of the season for these two teams. Conference USA up against the WAC. Final game of the calendar year for these two clubs. Western Kentucky, high scoring team, trying to win its seventh game in a row, and Abilene Christian on the road, a team that beat Oklahoma State in Stillwater to open the year, looking for its sixth win of the season overall. Gave Arkansas a good battle nine days ago on the road in front of a big crowd. These Wildcats have been ready from the start today. They've led by nine a couple of times, Western Kentucky, was about three quarters of the way through this game before it ever had a lead. It's led a couple of different times late and right now knotted at 84 apiece with 28.4 left. Another thing I consider right here from Steve Lutz is putting Betty all in some kind of ball screen action. Make him step out, he's got four fouls. Make him slow that ball handler down. He picks up his fifth and there's really not another post presence inside defensively for Abilene Christian. Marshall will inbound with Howard, Colabay, McHenry, and Lander on the floor for the Hilltoppers. And here's Lander again to run point. Watch McHenry catching the ball on the elbow and then some kind of ball screen action up top. Shot clock at 10. Shot clock at five. Lander with the left hand off the glass. 7.4 remaining. Wildcats are going to go. And McClain is fouled in the backcourt. Now, there were some fouls to give for Western Kentucky. The foul is on Don McHenry. And now a timeout is going to be taken by Abilene Christian. So the Wildcats elected not to call a timeout. They wanted to just go. And the Hilltoppers with a smart play there with a foul to give committed one. Yeah, that was really, really smart defensively. Good job by West Kentucky's staff of making sure they know we had fouls to give. So in that position, uh, in that situation, being able to give the foul right there, now you're limiting them to a, a out-of-bounds play with only three seconds left. And that was their last foul to give. So any foul here would be guaranteed free throws for the Wildcats. So they stop it at 3.1. What are you thinking here if you're Brett Tanner? Probably being very aggressive, somehow getting Ali Deba a chance to get downhill and put the, make, the, make the play at the basket. I don't want to settle for a jump shot unless it's an inside-out kick, I don't, you know, which you don't really have a lot of time for. So maybe try to get the ball to Deba in the mid post and let him rip and run to the basket, uh, either get the finish or... Uh, you know, make the official blow the whistle, get himself a chance to go to the line here to tie it up. We'll see what the Western Kentucky lineup is, but if you're Steve Lutz, who do you want on Dibba right now? Marshall? Yeah, I, I want Tyrone Marshall. He's got the best uh, length, the combination of length and footwork and athletic ability to, to keep him in front. Wildcats emerge. There's Brett Tanner. Final advice for that lineup of McLean, Betty All, Steele, Madden, and Dibba. So it's the, the starting lineup on the floor here for Abilene Christian. And here come 
the Hilltoppers. They got Faye back in with Marshall, Lander, McHenry, and Colum Bay. And at least right now, they've got Marshall on Dibba. 3.7. Wildcats down two. McLean misses. And it's over. And the Hilltoppers hold on. What a game on the hill. And two very close friends greet each other at midcourt. Steve Lutz in Western Kentucky take down Brett Tanner and the Wildcats in a thriller. Probably not the number one option you're looking for with McLean with the mid-range jump shot, although it's a pretty good look. But credit West Kentucky on that last possession of taking the ball out of Madden's hands, taking to get Betty, Betty all out of the mix, and, uh, and forcing that tough jumper there by McLean. What a finish here at Western Kentucky. A two-point victory for the Hilltoppers as they pick up their seventh consecutive win. And Abilene Christian showing why they are a fearless team, whether home or road. Christian Lander going through the line. It was his basket. This one, it's our Kentucky 8-1-1 play of the game. Turns out to be the game winner. The left-handed touch off the glass. Well, it's a very similar play design to the one they ran before that he missed the shot and, and Tyrone Marshall was able to put back. This time, able to hang and get the nice left-hand finish off the glass for the win. Lander finishes with 19 following that basket. And Tyrone Marshall is going to be our player of the game as he ended up with 20 points in this contest and 18 of them in the second half. Here's the Marshall highlight reel. He hit some threes, had the up and under layup. Terrific game by the Nashville native Tyrone Marshall. Just a huge second half. It seemed like every basket he made was really, really timely. Had some big time finishes at the basket, especially early in the second half when they had that mindset to be more aggressive. A three point on the inside out kick. Uh, and then just the put back at the end, just can't say enough about his effort in the second half to get their team this win. Tyrone Marshall, the Franklin Bank and Trust player of the game with 20. Ali Dibba led everybody in this game with 25. Hunter Jack Madden at 21 for Abilene Christian. Wildcats are five and eight now on the year. Their next game will be back into conference, back into a WAC action on January the 6th when they take on Rio Grande Valley. Western Kentucky now 11 and three. They'll be in this building next Saturday for the Conference USA opener against Liberty. That's gonna do it for our broadcast. For Jay Walton and our great crew, Jeff Hem signing off from Diddle Arena, Western Kentucky 86, Abilene Christian 84. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Happy New Year from Kentucky.